What's good team? Welcome to another Small James coding tutorial where today we're going to be talking about something that is far too difficult and we need better solutions and that is contact forms. Specifically, we're going to be embedding the contact form into an HTML document. This works with any JavaScript framework or just in general, any kind of networking request where you want to you know, have a contact form and send that through to an email address. I've been trying to do it for some of my own projects recently and it's been absolute chaos and total havoc. There are far too many terrible solutions, but there is one that shines golden amongst the lot of them. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and sub. Thank you for watching and let's make some contact forms. So the first thing we're gonna do is just quickly whip up a contact form in a basic HTML document. Now, as I said before, there is absolutely one solution that shines above the rest. But yeah, we're just gonna start off quickly making a little contact form in here. So we're gonna have a form. In here, we're gonna have three inputs. You could customize this however you want. So input, input. The third one's actually gonna be a text area. Really just add a layer of spice to our form. What we're going to do is give each of these some properties. So the first one is going to be name. The placeholder is going to be enter name. We can go ahead and copy this onto our other forms just down here. This one can be uh, email, enter email, like so. And the last one can be message. Now, as I said before, you can put whatever kind of uh, fields that you want inside of your form, but it does need to be wrapped inside of a form tag and yeah, done in any JavaScript framework. Finally, we're gonna have a button at the bottom that has a type equal to submit, and this is just going to say send. So there's our form. We could quickly just go ahead and style it as well. So what I'm gonna do is just give the body a min height of 100% uh, of the view height, a display of flex, a flex direction of column, a padding of 24 pixels, and then we're gonna justify content center, align items center, and then we can go ahead and target the form and we can say, you know, display flex, flex direction, column gap, maybe uh, 14 pixels. We're gonna say max width of uh, 450 pixels, width of 100% of the parent element, uh, and we'll also say margin of zero and auto, so it's self-centering. After that, we can target the inputs, and we can just say they have a width of 100%, a background of transparent, uh, and I'm actually gonna do this for the text area. Also, we're gonna give them all a padding of eight pixels, and then we can hit our button, and this can just be uh, M uh, margin left is gonna be auto. We're gonna give it a padding of 14 pixels vertically and 28 pixels horizontally. We're gonna give it a border radius of five pixels. And I think uh, we could actually do that for everything. So let's say input uh, text area and the button. We can give them all a border radius. We can give them all a border of one pixel solid uh, sky blue. And then lastly, for the text area and the input, we're gonna say outline none. We're going to uh, add the focus elements on each of them and just say outline also none. Uh, but instead what we're gonna do is we're going to give all of them this border just here and then on focus what we're going to do is just say uh, border color is navy uh, we can also come up to the top and just because I have to do this for my own mind's sake we're gonna set these basic parameters reset everything and I'm also going to say transition duration of 200 milliseconds so that should just about do it for our stuff. If we just open this in a live server, here we can see we have our uh, input fields, pretty straightforward stuff. We have our button, which looks kind of average, but you know, we're gonna make do. Might just shuffle this over a bit. 
So now that we have our form, how on earth do we make it send to our email? And the answer to that question is that we ask it nicely. But no, in all seriousness, we are going to be using a technology called formsubmit.co, just like this. This will be linked down in the description below. Absolutely breathtaking, seamless to integrate, incredibly easy. It's literally this simple. We can see what we have to do just here. So what we're going to do is make sure that the types on these are specified properly. That type is going to be email. This type is going to be uh, text. Uh, so we're going to set those two types important. We're also going to set all these fields, these first ones as required. Uh, just maybe just the first two, not necessarily. Uh, I mean, you could do the text area. That's up to you. And we have the type submit. Now, what we're going to do is copy in the form action. Uh, so the first thing we're going to need for that is to add in the method, which is going to be post. Pretty easy. And then the action, which is going to happen when we hit the submit button, the action is going to post to this URL just here. So we're just going to go ahead and copy that in. Now, essentially how this is going to work is you are going to replace your email.com with the email of your choosing. So I'm going to go for mine, just like that. That's going to be the email that I want to post to. And now we can come back into our form just here, write the name, James, hello at banana.com enter message hat lol got you. So, if we hit send on this, it's going to uh, action this post. And the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to have to activate that email. So you're going to get an email in your inbox, whatever the email it is that we just entered down here, that's going to ask to authenticate that email. So you will get that email in your inbox. You want to go to your inbox and make sure that you hit the activate form field. And for everyone who's curious, this is what the uh, email looks like. And the first thing to note is that it is going to uh, activate it specifically uh, for that URL. So if we're just doing it in local development, that's the URL that it's going to activate it for. So when you deploy it to the internet and you have you know a proper domain for it or a URL for it, you will need to re-authenticate it for the deployed version. So just keep that in mind, there's a, uh, an activation for development and there's an activation for the actual deployed one, which will, uh, so you need two emails. So I just hit that activate button and now we can see that our form is activated uh, specifically at this URL. And now if we uh, go back to the original page, here we have our form, we should be able to uh, hit send on that and we can see that we get a spam check. So that's pretty low key. We're just going to approve that. And now we have successfully submitted the form and then we can return to the original site. Lo and behold, it's that easy. If we now take a look at the email inbox here, we can see that we have the original form activation and I have a new submission. Here's what they had to say. We have all of our fields in that form. And this is from the original one that we sent when we submitted. And this is from the secondary one after we had uh, activated the form. So it's literally that easy. If you just want to set up a contact form for, you know, a development page or a portfolio or a landing page or anything like this, uh, form submit is by far the easiest system to implement and get up and running on your projects that I have come across and I have searched far and wide. If you have any other opinions, leave a comment down below and let me know and I'll have a look. Be curious to see what other people use. But yeah, this is absolutely my favorite. It's super simple, super effective, does exactly what I want it to do. And it takes literally this amount of code to set up. It's just beautiful. But yeah, that is the whole video. If you are looking to send emails to your inbox from a contact form in an HTML document, that you're making or any kind of JavaScript framework. This is my recommendation, my personal preference. If you have enjoyed the video or found something interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's super appreciated. It encourages me to make more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.